What's going on, everybody? Doc, your average camera guy is back again. More arena action. So, I had a toss up today. I wasn't sure what to do. Lost Caverns of Ixalan, or if we wanted to jump into Brothers War. Let's give Brothers War a go. I think we've done a little bit of this. Not a set we've drafted a ton. It's just a quick draft, so uh, we'll see how this goes. But you know the deal here. If you've been here before, we're going to jump in. We're going to draft. We're going to take a look at some cards. We'll play a few games. We'll put the deck together. We'll play a few games and uh, have some fun. Um, so let's get into it here. Fade from History is really interesting. It's kind of interesting. I'm going to take Wellspring here. Uh, we did some pretty good stuff with the sigil here. We got a worm coil engine, I recall, in the last Brothers War that uh, absolutely carried us. So. I'm going to take the sigil. I, I do remember this set. The set is very interesting. Um, I don't know. We could do the stalwart. I feel like we'll see another one of those. Definitely in green here.
There's a stalwart. Wow. Oh my gosh. And a ballot. Wow. Dude. God. Oh my God. And a Yoshin descendant. We could be absolutely pop off. I have to take this guy though. That seems a little too good for where we're at at this point. We'll see what else comes around to us. Kind of interesting. Diabolic Intent is amazing. Um, I'm going to lean in. I'm going to I'm going to lean in I think to the uh To the artifacts here. That's kind of cool. I think if we do this, we have all of them. This guy is really interesting too. Protection from multicolored. I'm going to take him instead of the plant worker. We'll see if he comes back around. I think we might go three color here. I really do actually. Because I, I just feel like there's been a couple of really, really good black cards that we want. Finding some good man mana fixing too, so. It's 
That's interesting. Blast zone. That's really interesting. That's kind of cool. I don't know. I want to take Power Stone Fracture here because I feel like we need some removal. That's interesting. <laughs> you could draw a ton of cards from that. I don't know. Disfigure is really good. I'm going to take this guy. Oh man. Close bark wart bulk wart is pretty good. I don't know, demolition field, I guess. Take the recluse. This is shaping up to be very potentially interesting. <laughs> I don't, uh, I don't particularly love or hate anything that we did here. Three or less would work. particularly like that guy 
Corrupt is interesting. Yeah, we'll take a look here. We'll try to thin this down. And uh, we'll get into some games. Okay, I think... Uh, yeah, I don't know. I think this is where we're going to go. We're going to give this a try. Um, and see how it plays out. I think. So, I, you know, Yoshin Descendant here, we kind of started a format around, but I actually wasn't super impressed with a bunch of our um, artifacts here, but I want to really power up Liberator. And uh, I think we've got some other decent pieces here that can work. We are very creature heavy, which is not a bad thing, I think, um, for what we're trying to do. So we'll see how this goes. Let's get to some games. All right, match one here. We got a Descendant early. And we got the Steel Seeker too, which is going to help us define. So we're going to keep this seven, even though we don't have any black mana, any swoops. I think we're okay with that. Now, if we can get that and then caress... We can actually have a nice start here. We are on the play. Okay. This gives us some options here. dog is currently I don't know hawking up a <laughs> air ball sorry about that uh what do we want to do here let's do this This guy and we took out the other guy a sorcery speed here so let's see what they decide to do it's a two four that seems fine i'm gonna go ahead and get rid of excavation explosion that's good what's gonna take three we can just basically get rid of that. I feel like we put this on this guy. Gonna start to see some power here.
two, four. This would be five. I could go six. We're not too far off from being able to pop this guy out. I kind of had a feeling that was coming. That's fine. We're still going to be able to do both of these next turn, which isn't bad. We can play this. Then we can play this. Put this here. Yeah, I feel like having some creatures makes sense. Now we got the big body. Need one more mana. Play the 8 8. Be pretty good. Yeah, we'll become a 5-6. I don't see any reason we don't attack with this guy. I mean, smart play here would be block with this guy, get your 1-1, one, one, or you hold to do a trade. Gain some life, that makes sense. I think if we jam this 8-8, eight, eight, we're going to be in really good shape. I think we just make something to That's a beast. That's a big boy. an interesting match i feel like there's some different things that could have been done there but i will take the win that is for sure okay here we go you know not a dissimilar hand that we had from that first game um but much better we get all three colors we got some really good early plays here and hopefully we can just kind of roll into a handful of uh That sucks. They're like noticing my how good my opening hand is.
I would have liked to keep the descendant. That would have been nice. Or whatever he's called. Whatever his name is. Dissident. Sorry. Whatever. Same difference. This card is really good. Like, really, really good. Especially for one mana. You know? You know, I guess we just attack? I don't know. I guess we take care of that. Not sure. We could double disfigure. That doesn't feel great. If we would have kept the dissident, put him in good shape. Yeah, I thought about doing Sigil, but what I'd like to keep up is actually Gaia's Gift and the Disfigure. Because um, if they do go ahead to attack this guy. Or do any type of removal for this guy. Does he want me to kill this? I'm going to. I mean, you can just sacrifice it, but... Sure. I mean, that would make it a 2-3. That's not really that helpful. We need to draw a little bit of gas here is what we need. And hope that they don't get another mountain. Because we could be in trouble for...
It's a lot to try to get rid of this. a four five makes sense that we try to but to attack I think That's crazy they can just keep bouncing this. I just feel like we gotta attack. We're gonna force it, that's fine. I'll move it. Again, hopefully we can get some, hopefully we can get some, uh, nice. confused Chromatic Star would have allowed them to play this, and that would have been absolutely brutal for me. I'd be dead already. <laughs> I really would because I can't stop the flying.
I take three, sure. I could tap it. Dang it. <laughs> that's so, that's so crazy that that's how it ended. I should have been dead a long time ago, though. What an interesting game. We we're really close, actually. We we're really, really close. Um, you know, that could have been any number of different things. I don't know what else they have in their deck. Uh, they get the 4-3 Trampler, which would have been difficult to deal with. Although, again, we have Scrapwork Rager here. It would have, you know, we positioned to actually be a pretty good block. Um, you know, being able to unearth this and draw a card would have also been kind of nice. Although, again, uh, we can't get into that position. Um... Yeah, I think blocking with the tower worker on that last go was a little tough. I didn't really particularly like that um, because, again, this has reach, so that was our opportunity to at least get the block. Uh, you know, we would have survived that swing had we been able to do that, but, um, you know, I was thinking stalwart we wanted to kind of keep. Dissident we absolutely want to keep, uh, keep going, and I think we had to keep pushing some pressure there we just really needed honestly we did another creature or two a little bit earlier than we had them um and or an artifact or two uh the wellspring would have been really really nice to have um to get early here to try try to draw into some cards but close match close match we're gonna wrap this up here i think so an interesting deck that's actually performing pretty good uh the synergies for artifacts with what we've got going 
uh, has actually been kind of nice. We're getting some good, uh, some good things here. We've seen kind of the similar combo play out uh, that has uh, been all right. So uh, we will finish up matches here uh, in a future episode. So stay tuned for that. Uh, we are doing again every Wednesday a Magic the Gathering box opening of some sort. Um, so we got another good one coming up this week. Be sure to check that out. And uh, more Magic the Gathering Arena content uh, coming soon as well. So um, I'm Flash with socials. Like, comment, subscribe. Help us grow the channel. We really do appreciate it. And uh, just appreciate you clicking on the video, watching, uh, throwing some comments, throwing a like on it as well. And uh, yeah, close it out. Doc, have a good guys. So I was thank you for watching. Catch you in the next one. Peace.